What if I told you, thousands of years before Einstein, the Mahabharata was already describing time dilation, multidimensional worlds, and people leaping across yugas? Sounds impossible, yet it's written right there in our own scriptures. From kings who returned to find centuries vanished, to sages who sleep through cosmic ages, to warriors witnessing the entire timeline of creation. These stories don't just sound mythical, they sound scientifically ahead of their time. Were these divine visions, allegories, or evidence that our ancestors understood the hidden physics of time? Stay till the end, because these five ancient mysteries might just change how you see mythology, science, and reality itself. Let's unlock the timeless secrets of the Mahabharata and beyond. For Mystery 1, the time loop of King Kakudmi and Ravati, a journey beyond time. Imagine traveling to meet the creator of the universe and returning to find thousands of years have passed on Earth. Sounds like a scene from a sci-fi movie, right? But this mind-bending story comes straight from the Bhagavata Purana and the Mahabharata. King Kakudmi, ruler of the ancient city Kushastali, had a daughter named Ravati, so graceful and intelligent that no suitor seemed worthy of her. Seeking divine guidance, the king decided to take Ravati to Brahmaloka, the celestial realm of Lord Brahma, to ask for advice. But time flows differently there. When they arrived, Brahma was attending a cosmic musical performance. The king patiently waited until it ended. But in those few divine moments, millions of human years had passed on earth. When Brahma finally spoke, he smiled and said, By now, the yugas have changed. Those you considered suitors are long gone. Kakudmi and Ravati returned to find humanity completely transformed. Civilizations vanished, ages rolled forward, and the Dwapar Yuga had begun. They were then advised to meet Lord Balarama, who accepted Ravati as his wife. For Mystery 2, The Time Travel of King Rivata Kakudmi, The Hidden Science of Yuga Time Here's where the mystery deepens because the story of King Kakudmi doesn't just stop with Brahma's smile. The Bhagavata Purana gives us exact measurements of time that sound astonishingly close to modern space-time concepts. When Kakudmi reached Brahmaloka, the text says that during the brief time he spent there, 27 Chaturyugas, that's over 116 million human years, had passed on Earth. How could ancient sages conceive such a drastic difference in time flow between two realms? Scientists today call this time dilation, the slowing down of time when one travels at immense speed or enters a different gravitational field. Einstein's theory of relativity explains that time runs slower for those moving near the speed of light, exactly what Kakudmi experienced while visiting Brahma's higher dimension. Could Brahma Loka represent a realm beyond our known space-time continuum where time behaves differently? Ancient texts even describe celestial planes as existing on higher vibrational frequencies, something eerily similar to modern ideas about multiple dimensions. Was this a divine vision, or did Kakudmi truly cross the boundaries of time and reality? The scriptures leave the question open, inviting us to wonder if ancient India already understood the physics of time itself. For Mystery 3, the astral time leap of Arjuna and Lord Krishna, a moment that lasted ages. During the Mahabharata War, Lord Krishna and Arjuna shared more than divine wisdom. They shared a glimpse beyond time itself. One of the most mysterious moments occurs when Krishna reveals his Vishwarupa, or universal form, to Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. As the Bhagavad Gita describes, time seems to stand still. The war pauses, the warriors freeze mid-action, and only Arjuna perceives Krishna's infinite cosmic form, stretching across past, present, and future. Krishna declares, I am time, the destroyer of worlds. In that single moment, Arjuna witnesses entire cosmic cycles, creation, destruction, and rebirth, all unfolding simultaneously. 
what seemed like seconds in the human realm could have been eons in divine perception. This vision parallels the idea of a temporal singularity, a point where time ceases to flow linearly. Modern physics speaks of such phenomena near black holes, where time bends and dilates. Was Arjuna granted a scientific glimpse into the fourth dimension, or did Krishna momentarily lift him out of space-time itself? The scriptures don't explain how, only that Arjuna returned to the battlefield, changed forever by what he had seen, a vision of God or a journey beyond time itself. For Mystery 4, The Sleep of the Seven Sages, A Cosmic Hibernation Across Yugas In the ancient texts, there is a lesser-known story that sounds like something from a deep space chronicle. The Sapta Rishis, or Seven Sages, who were said to enter a state of deep meditation that transcended time itself. According to the Mahabharata and Puranas, during the great cosmic floods, the Pralaya, these sages were instructed by Lord Vishnu to preserve divine knowledge for the next cycle of creation. Obeying the command, they entered a trance-like state known as samadhi, suspending all bodily functions. Eons passed. Entire civilizations vanished. Yet when the next yuga began, the Sapta Rishis awakened, unchanged, untouched by time, ready to guide humanity again. This mysterious phenomenon mirrors the concept of cryosleep or suspended animation in modern science, where living beings might one day sleep through centuries in space travel. Did the Rishis master a spiritual technology that allowed them to transcend time? Or were they beings from beyond Earth's temporal flow? The scriptures simply say, they awoke when the stars realigned. For Mystery 5, The Time Reversal of King Kalapahad and the Curse of Temporal Karma Among the forgotten legends whispered in the Mahabharata's aftermath is a chilling account of King Kalapahad, a warrior said to have tampered with the very flow of time through a divine curse. Ancient commentaries mentioned that he once defied the guidance of a sage, mocking the cyclical nature of existence, the endless loop of birth, death, and rebirth, known as Kala Chakra. In response, the sage uttered a cryptic curse. May you relive your mistakes until you learn the truth of time. From that moment, Kalapahad was said to awaken repeatedly in the same moment of his downfall a time loop, reliving his defeat again and again. Though largely symbolic, this tale mirrors the modern concept of temporal recursion, seen in quantum theories suggesting time could loop under certain conditions. Was Kalapahad trapped in a literal cycle, or was it a spiritual metaphor for karma replaying until redemption? Either way, it shows that the ancients may have grasped one of the universe's deepest secrets. Time is not linear, but cyclical. Final Thoughts The Timeless Wisdom Hidden in the Mahabharata From King Kakudmi's cosmic journey to Arjuna's vision beyond time, every mystery in the Mahabharata seems to whisper one truth. Our ancients knew far more about time and reality than we can imagine. They spoke of yuga spanning millions of years, worlds where time flowed differently, and sages who transcended death itself. Maybe these weren't just stories, but encrypted knowledge preserved in poetic form for future generations to decode. Modern science is only beginning to explore ideas that our ancestors expressed through divine symbolism, time dilation, parallel dimensions, and cyclical creation. So, was time travel truly possible in ancient India, or did the Rishis simply understand the spiritual version of it, the ability to see beyond the present moment? Either way, one thing is certain. In the Mahabharata, time is not a line, it's a loop. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.